I'm Olivia Snyder and I'm 12 years old. My mom draws the sketch or the plan and then we tape out how we want it to look. For today's project on our turtle, we took a uh, style that I found online, which is from stain, or like a fake stain art, um, but with chalk, where you tape out what you want to paint and then uh, to give you nice, clean, crisp lines. And then we like to color it in and make it look nice. We wanted to do something with the manhole to make it prettier and make our neighborhood look nicer and bring a smile to people's faces. I first heard about the Stay at Home Chalk Art Festival by a neighbor who posted it on our HOA Facebook page. Um, but I actually didn't have any chalk, so I sort of dismissed it. Just by coincidence, a neighbor had, was cleaning out her house and found a bunch of extra chalk and asked if we would like it. She was so generous to offer us the chalk, so we were grateful for that. Because um, it started right when the lockdown was um, pretty serious and, you know, we didn't go anywhere. Every week the Stay at Home Chalk Fest had a different theme. So a week ahead we were looking to ideas about what we would like to do. Ellen Cho, Cho and her daughter submitted drawings uh, every week and they were very creative and have quite a range of drawings. So we received drawings that really range from um, kids or you know parents and kids teaming up to create drawings as well as uh, professional artists who also submitted stunning drawings. We had participants also from California and from Mexico, in addition to artists from this area. So, you know, it uh, really was an event that was uh, went beyond, you know, the, the territory of wrestling. As you can guess, my daughter is 12 and really into her video games, like most girls her age and so this is a nice um, the chalk art was a nice break from the video games or screen time and I did like collaborating with her and it, everything from starting the research and brainstorming ideas all the way to the finished product. We had a lot of positive response from friends um, one even saying that uh, they saw something and said thank you I really needed that today so that made us really happy that we can spread some joy during this time.